one of the uncontracted talents that is floating around right now, or as y'all would call, free agent, is the man known as Jinder Mahal. I have no idea if this is his real name or not. Don't really care, to be honest with you. I don't care to get on Wiki and find out. I do remember his debut once upon a time. He uh, he came in, uh, if you guys even remember around that time, he, he came in as if he was going to be treated like a main eventer. Uh, I think this was around the time Great Kali started turning babyface, and he, it's almost like he came from, like he was sent from India to set him straight, and he was, you know, slapping him in the face, like trying to get his, you know, get him to get his act together. And uh, they ended up having a match, and and Kali won. And it was a very short lived storyline, and Jinder went straight into jobberism, if that's even a word. And uh, over the years, you know, he did the 3MB thing and he, you know, no momentum whatsoever. And then in an attempt to leverage India, to monetize India, which no company has ever successfully done, they put the belt on Jinder Mahal and he was the world champion for a little bit. So if you guys remember, he was released from the company. Um, Man, I don't remember what year it was. It was probably 2015, 2016. He was actually in talks with TNA to to come over. I saw him at, I want to say it was Slammiversary. I, I feel like it was Slammiversary 2016. That sounds about right. Um, He was there. He was there in the audience, him and Chelsea Green. So I think they were you know, both in talks with the company. But then WWE brought him back. And I do remember listening to an interview with him. He seems uh, to be a very professional individual. And he said in an interview that he had a meeting with TNA to discuss a contract. And when WWE reached out to him, he, he said, you know, for the sake of being professional, he wanted to keep that appointment. Um. And he did, even though WWE let him know they wanted to bring him back, he did actually meet with TNA officials, and he knew shortly after that he was going to return to WWE. I mean, it's not really much of an option for most, most wrestlers. But the point was, he did talk to this company once upon a time. Now, completely different regime. There's no Billy Corgan there. There's no Dixie Carter. But there was interest on his end to come over and resume his career and the company was in the shitters at the time this was when they were like you know going out of out of business every every other month so um if he was open to being part of the company back then he's likely open to being part of the company now the big money and i and i do mean that um i do mean that as an actual draw would be for him to wrestle hook in aew I don't know that Tony Khan's going to do that, but uh, I, I know that sounds like kind of a joke match, but there is there is actually uh, money in doing that. So, you know, it remains to be seen if they do anything like that, but I don't see him as a long-term fit there. I do see him as a fit in TNA, and, and you know, the majority of you may disagree with that, or you may think, or you may say you don't want him there, you know, but this is someone who is... Uh, you know, as far as his stature, looks like a man. He's built like a man. And TNA is still, they're still taking some swings with India. You know, they're, they're still taking some swings. They still got some of those, those guys on the roster. But if he did come over, I can see him. And I know, I know many of you cringe at the even thought of this. I can see him being. The man. When I say being the man, I can see him wrestling for the world title and winning it and having an actual run. I really wouldn't be shocked if they didn't bring him on. If he's open to it. But again, he was open to it once upon a time when the company was in a much, much worse place. 
So it just remains to be seen if Tony Khan has interest in him, given what the online storyline they had was. Because he does play up to the internet marks, it wouldn't make sense for him to bring him on, even if it's a one-off open challenge, answering an open challenge type of deal. But I think uh, people need to prepare for this being a a possible long-term home for him. Now, it could be one of those, you know, I'm around for six months, whatever. He does not strike me as someone who's going to be touring the indies (laughs) and going and wrestle prestige wrestling and all these. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't see that. I see him wanting to settle into a television company. And I think this is the spot. And TNA is just dumb enough to put the world title on him. Is he going to be the next world champion? No. Could he wrestle in the main event in Bound for Glory? It's possible. But this dude, again, looks like a man, built like a man. The company has had interest in these types of guys since the beginning. There's, it, to me, it's extremely possible that we could see him. And I do think people need to, be, need to prepare for that opportunity. Now, he was the world, ty- world champion at WWE at one point. So if you can hold the gold there, you can hold it in TNA. And I, I just really wouldn't be shocked if, the, uh, if Anthem didn't look at him as someone who could be, be a top heel. Fortunately, there are a couple top heels in the company right now with Moose and Hammerstone. So it's not like uh, they need him immediately, but I can see it, folks. I really can. Um, And if they did put the title on him, (laughs) man, that would get people talking. That would get that would get a lot of people talking. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Would you want to see? Jinder Mahal in TNA. I know you probably don't want to see him as the world champion, but do you think they would put the world title on him? Doesn't necessarily mean he's going to do like Mustafa Ali and come win it in his first match, but throughout the course of his actual contract, if he were to come aboard and he were to be around for at least a year or two years, do you think that Anthem and the powers that be at TNA, Tommy Dreamer and all them, would put the title on him. I say yes. I say it would happen. Wouldn't necessarily be the most popular move, but I think it's very, very possible and that the fans, again, need to prepare for the very strong possibility that he could be in a TNA ring.